Godot 4.3 introduced 2D physics interpolation designed to make physics interactions a little bit smoother. Just a few days ago, Godot 4.4 started to be kicked off and with it physics interpolation for 3D was also introduced. These two features aim to enhance the physics behavior in both 2D and 3D, but are they really that interesting? Will they make a significant difference? Let's find out. First of all, I quickly want to go over the most important information, and that is, for example, that well, you can visit the 4.3 release post, and well, here when you start scrolling down, here you're going to be finding 2D physics interpolation okay so basically these highlights the two main things that uh, why uh, they are uh, important okay uh, first of all the games will look better on display with a high refresh rate and also it takes less resources in the device in order to render physics okay so we also have some increasing in uh, the performance as well and of course, this basically makes the uh, physic interaction overall a little bit uh, smoother, okay? In fact, you can see how also uh, here it says that the 3D physics interpolation was already under development. And well, that then in growth 4.4, the one that as you can see was released just some days ago. Actually, here in the highlights, if we scroll down a little bit, we find here 3D physics interpolation that basically is the same thing as in 2D but well now we have the exact same feature but in 3D and well as you can see here we see this short video comparing both so in the, the, the behavior itself seems that it is quite similar but well the main difference was that here it was a little bit more laggy let's say and here it was definitely uh, smoother okay so indeed the idea is to see if there is indeed some difference or not. I am currently on Godot 4.3, but I'm going to be using Godot 4.2.2, uh, that is the stable version of Godot 4.2 for when testing Physics 2D, because in Godot 4.2 we don't have Physics Interpolation, and then I will be using Godot 4.3 to be testing out this 2D Physics Interpolation, and then for 3D, I will use Godot 4.3, okay? And then I will use Godot 4.4 Dev 1 to see how interpolation in physics in 3D actually work. And before doing all that, I will quickly go over the project that we are going to be using. The project, the only thing that it has is this kind of platform in which the balls are going to be falling over. Then it has the basic setup with the, a light, a world environment, and a camera. Then, well, the environment that is basically all these walls. And it also contains the super simple UI that will count how many balls uh, have been instantiated as well as the current FPS. In terms of the ball scene, it has the default settings, okay? So it doesn't have any kind of physics material. It is completely empty and it doesn't have any of the options here uh, modified okay and then it basically has the normal mesh and the collision okay lastly the code is super simple um the only thing that is doing is that every 0 0.005 seconds we are going to be getting a ball that is being spawned and at the same time well at every time that a ball is being spawned we are updating the objects number so that the ui will display as accurately as possible and by the way, for every single test, I'm going to be exporting the project so that we can actually see the real performance in a test in an executable project instead of in the editor. Because sometimes when we run the project uh, as an executable, we may get a, maybe a little bit better performance. And in 2D, the setup is also quite, quite similar. We get, a, again, the exact same user interface. We also get here the some walls. The vault is again a rigid body with no options that have been 
uh, modified and then well here I have two scripts but it's going to be doing the same thing just that here well the rate is a little bit different um, when this timer is out basically every 0 0.05 seconds we're going to be essentiating 5 volts uh, so here I am increasing that volts number I will just delete this line I'm not going to be using it and then I am just here in this UI script updating the corresponding uh, elements of my interface. Firstly, let's start off with 2D physics in Godot 4.2. This will basically mean that there is uh, no interpolation. So here we have started the test. Well, as soon as it starts, we do see um, a behavior that is quite good. Uh, also, uh, we see that uh, the performance is also quite interesting because we are getting close to 10,000 volts and still the performance is quite quite solid but when we are reaching something like 11,000, 10,000 volts well everything starts uh, to break down but well still the behavior and uh, the performance is quite solid and now let's see what results we get in Godot 4.3 with 2D physics interpolation so once again, as soon as we start, the behavior is still quite similar. Maybe we do see some difference, but um, they are still quite similar. Also, the performance, we see that it's, it is uh, still uh, being able to uh, render lots of uh, objects at the same time. And uh, when we get to something like 10,000 volts, it is actually breaking in the exact same way that it broke in Godot 4.2. Let's now see Godot 3D physics in Godot 4.3, basically with no physics interpolation. So as soon as it starts, we see that we are able to get something like 1500 volts until everything starts uh, to break down. Well, at least the FPS are not good, but well, the performance we don't get that thing that we were getting in 2D in which the collisions were breaking around. Um, so yes, indeed, maybe physics in 3D are even a little bit better, at least in, in this matter of, uh, detect of collision detection. So now let's try Godot 3D physics, but in Godot 4.4 Dev 1 with uh, physics interpolation. So let's see what results we end up getting. Um, so once again, the behaviors are quite accurate, quite interesting. The performance is also quite interesting, but well, um, when we get something like 1,500 volts, we are still getting uh, less than 30 FPS, which means that there are literally no differences. Now, probably the type of test that we perform isn't the idea of physics interpolation, and I completely understand that, but well, maybe... Um, or well, or well, at least me myself, I was expecting maybe that there could be some change in the behavior, uh, some improvement even in the performance, but well, it seems that uh, these areas aren't being modified by physics interpolation, so that was the key that I wanted to verify in this video and I wanted to share with you. Because well, as it is stated, as this will allow you to save a CPU, CPU overhead, well, technically the PC should be able to run the program for more time, but well, for some reason, it isn't the case. And well, we couldn't actually see the game performing much smoother since we didn't have any kinds of bouncing as said in the vaults. And well, actually the same thing happens in 2D physics interpolation. It should have less impact on the hardware. So that's the reason why, at least in 3D, I wanted to try this new, let's say, bouncing. Uh, at least how this would be performing in uh, with some object that is bouncing. So I created this static body with the same ball, but well here I did add a physics material, I disabled the friction and I made bounce 1. And then in the project settings, I um, disabled the linear damp, so that I, I could have some kinds of infinite bounce. So as you can check, I am in growth 4.3 right now. And well, this is the behavior that we are getting, okay? This is just a ball that is going to be bouncing over here. Well, the behavior itself, it is quite good because it is also quite simple. But well, let's see if at least at the first sight, we do can see some difference in growth 4.4 dev 1. And now I am in growth 4.4 dev 1 and let's see if there are some kinds of results. But well, 
as far as I understand and as far as I can see here, there aren't literally any kinds of change. Um, so of course I do understand that there is a still some change as it was demonstrated by uh, the videos uh, showed in uh, the post of these new versions. But well, at least here the idea of this test was to see if there was some difference at the first sight in a pretty simple test. And we even performed two different types of tests. One thing if there was some kind of difference in the performance and in overall behavior without physics material that we saw that were the exact same ones. And then, well, we even tried to make a vault bounce and see if there were any changes. Oh, well, at least as far as I was able to detect, there weren't any significant changes. Of course, I'm not saying that this change isn't relevant. It is always amazing the fact that, that physics are being changed for the good. And probably because this implementation can be actually realized in different situations, in more situations in which the benchmark that is performed is a little bit deeper, that it, there is more data behind, more information behind that can be gathered, and that it can also be applied for more complex situations that haven't been performed in this test. But well, at least now, at the first sight, in a pretty simple test, you can see that the test was the was quite similar or even the exact same one. I mean the performance of the tests. So if you found this video interesting and you want to see more good audio videos, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. See you in the next one and bye bye.